Hey guys, uh, Yu Gi Oh T42. I know I haven't done a video in a while. It's just I've been re really, really busy as of late. Don't ask, you'll probably never get an answer. Just mostly school stuff and financial aid stuff. Alright, uh, on to the review. I'm gonna do Beast Machines Black Arachnia. Which, I don't know. Well, First off, the Beast Machines line was not exactly a fun thing. Especially with the uh, toy line. Yeah, well, they were techno organic, but still, it's just. They really c couldn't do what they did with the Beast Wars line. Especially with uh, Optimus, Rat Trap, and Cheetor, which I don't know why they did. Uh, Alright. Black Carapnia herself is a, a techno organic uh, Black Widow, but you can't really tell that only because of that. The only way you can tell she's a Black Widow is this. They redesigned her a little. If they took the time to redesign her a little bit further, maybe we could have got a little bit out of her, more out of her. I don't know. That's just me. All right. Uh, the toy itself is a pretty good. It's pretty good, especially with what they had to work with and like. 2000 was it 1999 to 2000? I don't have Optimus. Pr I don't have Optimus Primal. I don't have Cheetor. I don't have Rat Trap. I do have her. I'm trying to find Night Scream and possibly Wolfbane and maybe the what is it? What's her name? That plant girl. I don't remember her name. Chlorophyll or something? I don't know. Uh, her spider form has a little bit of articulation in it. Uh, her legs do move out, do swing. Her front two legs do swing, but as a as a unit, uh, there is a little bit of articulation here. Uh, there is articulation here, but that's only for transformation and robot mode. There's a huge amount of articulation here, just because they're on ball joints, and well, it's really just transformation. But I guess the r main gimmick is is that if you pull, oh, there is articulation here, which is kind of nice, but it doesn't really mean much, especially considering what else they could have done, but. I guess her main gimmick is you pull these apart and her mouth moves on both sides which is kind of annoying but considering what they had to work with I kind of agree with it alright um, I guess that's it for this type of articulation I guess I'll transform her the transformer this whole back part which is the I guess the I'm not really sure what do you call it because I'm not a I'm not an entomologist. Sorry guys. Uh, you simply there's a bit of a joint here. Simply lift it up and pull it back a little bit, and then it slides right in, and it it should fit right there. And once you reveal this, turn uh turn her around. A little bit so you can get her in the right position lift up the head to get the hair out of the way pull it back and position the arms how you want them swing these around if you want to but I just do it because it's well these uh right here because well they sort of get in the way and I don't want to deal with it uh, let's see here. 
oh, pull down the legs so you get them to sort of this position and just simply put them together. Real simple. It's one of the simpler transformations, not the one step transformations like the original rat trap, but it works. And then open splay out the feet. And then open her visor a little bit so you can see her head. And basically that's it. Uh, the only other thing is if you want to pull her upper torso up a little bit to make her a little bit taller, that's up to you. It doesn't really do much. It adds maybe a centimeter, which basically is not much, basically. But there are quite a bit of new details. Chest uh, is really nice. Because this is moved to the back, it's kind of a, uh, which you see a few times on Beast Machines, the series. Uh, legs are really nice, though. All right. Uh, the only really new articul, or not articulation, uh, details you see, are chest, a little bit of the, uh, the wit, I guess the pelvis. Sorry guys, I'm a pre mag manager. Sorry guys, and the face. Which is kind of, eh. I much prefer the original face, to be honest. The original black covering in your face, that's just me. There is a bit of a gimmick here. You pull up these visors, you get six eyes. Eh, I don't know. There is light piping, but I don't exactly have a flashlight right now. It's right there. Just shine a flashlight through there. You'll get. Uh, the light piping. There's also light piping in here, but it's only to see certain parts, which is nice and detailed. Uh, spark chamber right there, which has a maximal symbol in there. Uh, there really isn't that much new articulation. Heart all you uh, you get up and down movement not really you don't get any of the uh, side to side movement on the head because it is a lock joint uh, you get an elbow shoulder and arm and forearm rotation the, uh, there is articulation in here, but it's really, really tight, and I don't really want to break this thing. I've had this for so many years. Uh, get that because of a ball joint on both sides. You get a knee joint, and you get an ankle joint, which is kind of nice. Um, really, I say if you can find her just for I say pick her up because it's pretty hard to find right now because it's well 2010 2011 I think um, I pick her up if you can find her but the only other new detail is her hair really and her chest and face um I don't know it's just kind of really hard to find right now but out of all of our rating, I say 7 out of 10 because of a few articulation issues. Uh, other than waist, you do get a waist joint, which is kind of nice. I'm only t detracting 3 because of the uh, head and a few inner looks. It, they could have done a little bit better with her, but that's just me. So. I'll put up. I'm gonna put up another video today, probably about uh, Thundercats, the new series, which is premiering tonight. So stay tuned, guys. I'll be back in a few minutes. See ya, Tane.